I'm gonna share with you one of the most powerful and one of the very most important lessons that any Christian can learn. And only those of you will understand it who truly grasp the essence of the gospel message. And I'm gonna give you an illustration right now. Have a look at the grass. It just looks so perfectly green. But the thing is, the closer that you go, the more you will see the weeds that are in between the grass. And you can go cr closer and closer and you will see more and more weeds. And this is exactly the same with the Christian life. There are so many people that are, that are shallow in the faith and they'll think that they're generally good people and generally good Christians. They're trying to do the right things. They're not really doing anything too wrong. But those who go deeper in the faith, the more you get into the word, the more you begin to recognize that nothing good is inside of you apart from the Spirit of God. The more sin, the more sin you recognize and the more you, you begin to realize that there are greater and greater levels of righteousness for you to walk in. The process of sanctification every day. It, it's like looking in the mirror. The Bible is called a mirror. The, the law is called a mirror. We, we see the law. It's not there so that we can think that we can live up to it because we can't. It's there to expose that we can't to expose our need for the Saviour and God's grace in walking out this life of obedience. And many Christians, they don't want to come face to face with that. They want to live for Christ to a certain extent, but they don't really want to amend their life. They don't even want to face the fact that there's sin in their life. But those of us who want to go deeper, we recognise that there's, God sees a sin that exists in us that we don't even see. We're far more sinful than we even recognize, but this isn't a condemnation. Condemnation is from the enemy. It leads to a conviction, which is from the spirit. It's a good thing. It's like a surgeon finding a cancer and, and scraping it out, cutting it out. It's, it's a good thing. We don't look at when, when the word of God exposes the sin in us as, oh, I'm, con I'm condemned and I'm overwhelmed. No, we're covered by the grace and the blood of God. And what it actually does is allows us to amend that part of our life and become more like Christ. And it's the motivation of his mercy and what he did for us, despite how sinful we are, that overwhelms us and overtakes us and, and gives us the motivation to want to live a life for him. It's so funny, so many preachers, they don't want to preach hard truth about dying to self, the crucified life, because it might offend people, people might walk away. And a lot of people don't want to hear it because they think, no, I just want to hear positive things about myself. But imagine you're going to the mirror. You're about to go out somewhere and you're looking into the mirror. Your hair's all messed up. And imagine looking at the mirror and going, oh, the mirror's showing me my hair's messed up. I don't want to look at the mirror. I'm not going to look at the mirror again because I, I just... I don't want to face that. I don't want to face the fact that my hair's messed up. And then going out to whatever event or place you're going to in denial that your hair's all messed up. Or imagine you're actually looking in the mirror, you're seeing your hair's messed up and you're going, oh, my hair's messed up, I need to fix it. And then you fix it and then you go on your way and you go wherever you need to, know, wherever you need to go and your hair's fixed and the mirror serves its purpose. The purpose of the mirror isn't to look in it and to go, oh no, I don't want to see that and to walk away. It's to look in it and to say, okay, there are things I need to fix. There are things I need to take care of. And that's what the mature Christian does. And it's not a condemnation. You're not sitting there going, oh, my hair's a mess. I'm a terrible person. Oh, it's, oh, I can't face anything. It's just like, no, no, this is a mess. Okay, thank you, God, for revealing it. Let's fix this up. And let's just go out there and, and, and live our life. And that's how the Christian is to live. Um... It's actually a very liberating thing when we recognize the true condition of ourselves because then it removes any type of dependence that we have on ourselves and puts our dependence completely on God. We, we recognize that there is no good in us. We can't work our way up to God. We recognize that we, we can't even have the power to live this life out. We have to depend upon him completely and that's a great place. We come to him in humility. And, and the Bible says, blessed are the poor in spirit for theirs is the kingdom of God. And it's wonderful. And like I said, it's not a condemnation. It's a conviction. And this conviction leads us closer to God. It leads us further along the road of sanctification. And we can live out the purposes that God's called us to. So that's my message for you today. The, the question is, um, do you recognize the sin that's in your life, first of all? 
And second of all, how do you deal with that? Do, do you deal with it with a condemnation, which is from the enemy and is never of the spirit? Or do you deal with it uh, looking at it as a conviction and as a good thing? Because you can take that and now that you know that this is happening inside of you, you can amend that, you can bring it before God and you can be transformed. And that's the goal of the Christian life is to know him more, to become more like Jesus, to walk that out, shining your light to other people. So what from this message really spoke to you, friends? I'd love to get your comments below and uh, hear how you're doing on this particular issue. Talk to you very soon.